Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. What are you looking at? <laughs> So I am vlogging today. I'm starting my vlog right now. Gianni is actually inside CVS getting some hair gel because he ran out before he came so he had to just pick up some. So I thought I would just start off the vlog right now while he's doing that. We just went to Starbucks and I forgot my little straws so I can't drink it till I get home. But I've been getting a new drink because I've been trying to eat healthier. And the pumpkin spice just has so many calories. So recently I've been getting a grande cold brew with almond milk and sugar free vanilla. So this morning Gianni got in around like I think like 8.30 and then I went to the gym I had an appointment with my trainer and then after that we just went to Starbucks and here we are I wanted to vlog today for you guys because I miss vlogging and I haven't vlogged in like a minute so I thought I would just do a video today I want to show you guys the fall makeup I've been wearing because I wore it in my last video and I got a lot of comments asking how I did that makeup look especially the eyeshadow so I thought I would do that for you guys also I have done so much shopping in the past couple days so I know you guys love little hauls so I wanted to show you guys what I got this past weekend also I have a ton of stuff coming from Fashion Nova this week so I'll do like a try on haul for you guys that we can get some fall outfit inspo but yeah that will be coming up later in the week probably so yeah I'm just gonna wait for Gianni to get out of CVS with his hair gel and then we're gonna go home and eat and drink our Starbucks and I will see you guys when we are getting ready so we are now at my makeup mirror and it is a little bit later I just did my hair I've been doing it differently and I've been doing it wavy and I really really like it so to do my makeup I just have like these bedazzled barrettes in my hair to hold back my hair just so no makeup gets in it normally when I'm doing like a face of makeup I like to do face then eyes and then go back to face but since this eyeshadow has like a lot of fallout since it's glitter I think I'm gonna start with my eyes today first eyebrows then eyes but yeah I have a mirror right here so I'll be looking at that while I'm doing like my eyeshadow and my eyebrows but Fenty actually sent me a package the other day with a bunch of amazing products and I'm obsessed with Fenty they're definitely one of my favorite beauty brands like I think they might be my favorite and I tried everything out and I wanted to get in the feel of all of it that way when I do a video for you guys I can like really talk about the products and how I like them this is my favorite eye pencil that I've ever used this is the Fenty Beauty eyebrow pencil if you're wondering I'm in the shade brown MVP the main reason reason why I'm obsessed with this brow pencil is because the spoolie is different than every other one that I've ever seen. It almost looks like one of the Artiste brushes. Like it's so cool and I think it works a lot better. I don't know what it is but I like how this combs my brows way better than any other spoolie. Since I'm doing eyeshadow first, I'm just going to do some concealer and then set it with powder because I always use concealer as my eyeshadow base, so I don't want to mess it up today. So today I'm going to be using four different eyeshadow palettes. Um, you definitely do not have to be using this much, it's just there's certain colors that I like in each palette for different things. So I'm going to be using the Dose of Colors Desi X Katie palette. I'm going to be using the Morphe 35O. I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette. And last but not least, we're going to be using this ColourPop palette. It's like a Z palette with a bunch of individual shadows. So I actually got this at Coachella from Sugar Bear, so thank you Sugar Bear, but I will be using this. Okay, first things first, I'm going to be taking Necessary from the Desi X Katie palette with Dose of Colors, and I'm going to be putting that in my lid. This is just my favorite transition color at the moment, so I really like this color. Next, I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill palette and take the shade Alert, and I'm going to put that all over my crease just because this look is primarily orange for fall. After I do that layer of orange, I'm going to take this one from the Morphe 35O palette and do the same exact thing, but this one is just a little bit more vibrant. After I do the orange, I like to go in with like a warm toned brown. You can do any one that you have, but I'm going to be using Mugshot from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Now it's time for the glitter that everyone was asking about. So it's actually one of ColourPop's individual shadows. It's this shade right here. It's this orange one. I do not know the name of it, but I will try to find it and I'll link it down below. But just know it's from ColourPop. I'm sure you can find one similar to this on their site. I got this in April, so they should still have it. Can you see how pretty that is? And 
that is what the eyeshadow looks like. I'm obviously going to add lashes and a wing, but I'm going to do that after I do my face makeup just because I like to do my face makeup before I actually do the actual eyeliner. Okay, I'm going to prime my face with the new Fenty Soft Silk. This is the hydrating primer. This is actually my favorite primer, the Fenty one, and then they have one for hydration, and you guys know I have dry skin. So it's like my two worlds combined it and it's just so good. It makes my skin feel so nice before makeup. Next, I'm going to use the new Fenty foundation. This is the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. If you're wondering, I'm in the shade 180. I'm going to apply that with the Fenty Beauty Foundation Brush. And I really, really like this brush. Like normally I don't like foundation brushes, but for some reason this one's really good. <laughs> didn't put any foundation underneath my eyes because I'm gonna be using my Fenty concealer this is their pro filter concealer and I'm in the color 170 beauty bakery powder to set it i actually really like this powder i got it while i was in vegas at ulta and it's really good <laughs> While this is baking, I'm going to do my eyeliner and lashes. This is the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. Tip is just so sharp. I'm obsessed with this eyeliner. It just makes it look so snatched. So I'm just going to quickly do this, and then I'm going to pop on my lashes, and I will catch up with you guys when we are doing the rest of the face. I just put on my lashes really quick. They look a little weird. I still have to add mascara, so don't mind that. But while we are waiting for the glue to dry, I'm going to do bronzer. I'm using the Sun Stalker bronzer from Fenty in the shade Shady Biz. <laughs> wipe away the bake underneath my eyes now that i've removed the bake i'm going to finish my under eyes so i'm just going to take that same orange shade alert and put it underneath my eyes and then i'm just going to put black in my waterline now that the lash glue is dried i'm going to take my Too faced mascara and i'm going to blend my lashes with my fake ones <laughs> So next I'm going to be doing blush and I'm going to be using the Fenty Kilowatt Girl Next Door and Chic Preak. This is my new favorite blush. Like, I'm not even kidding. This is literally so amazing. <laughs> Then I'm going to go in with my favorite highlighter. I've talked about it so many times on my channel, but this is the Anastasia Loose Highlighter in Snowflake. I'm going to put it on my inner corners, the tip of my nose, and then my cheekbones. <laughs> Then for lipstick, as always, I'm going to take my favorite combo, which is MAC Honey Love with the Fenty Lip Gloss. And to finish it all off, I'm going to use my Anastasia Dewy Set Setting Spray to set my face. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys liked it and found it informative and I hope you guys learned some new products that you guys want to try. I've been doing this makeup look so much this fall and I've been really into winged eyeliner that has become like almost an everyday thing. And you guys know I'm a sucker for a really pretty glitter. So yeah, I hope you guys like that. That's the finished hair and makeup look. But I just realized I don't think I've shown on literally anywhere yet my nails. So I got my like Halloween nails now because the nails that I actually want to have for Halloween, I want them to like match my car. 
costume. These are my nails. I got them done at Modern Pamper. I am obsessed with them. They are Nightmare Before Christmas themed. So yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with Gianni for a little bit and take some pictures. And then I will come back to you guys and show you guys my haul of my shopping this weekend. So I'm going to show you guys some of my new items. But before I start showing you guys like everything that I got, I wanted to show you guys these shoes because they are so dope. They're from Drip Creations. They sent me, Lauren, and Lydia these Powerpuff shoes. And I think that they're so cute. If you guys don't know, we're like the Powerpuff girls. I'm Blossom, Lauren's Bubbles, and Lydia's Buttercup. I just wanted to show you guys these awesome shoes because I'm literally obsessed with them. They're Air Force Ones with this pattern. So thank you so much to Drip Creations for sending these to me. Now on with the haul. So first place I went to was Bath and Body Works and I just got two wallflowers. I got ones in Leaf and Pumpkin Cupcake for my bathroom and my room. I said that in the room tour, but I just ran out so I had to get more. Okay, so I went to Steve Madden and both my mom and I got shoes, but I have been wanting kitten heels for the longest time just because I feel like they're really comfortable and I can walk a lot in them. So I picked up these ones from Steve Madden. I think that they are so cute. As you can see, they have a tiny heel and these are perfect for when I want to look cute and not wear sneakers, but I have to walk a lot. These are just so adorable. I'm obsessed with these. These are probably going to become like my most used shoe because they look like they're really comfortable. Like when I tried them on in the store, they were so comfortable. I can already tell they're not going to cause me a lot of pain. Next, I went to Brandy and I only got two things. But the first thing I got was this white sweater. I have been wanting a sweater like this for a long time. So when I saw this, I wanted to grab it just because it's a really good basic. And I feel like I can pair this with like jeans and some Uggs for like a chill fit. I feel like I'm going to be wearing this a lot this fall. And the next thing I got was this shirt. It almost looks like the sweater I got, but it's like a t-shirt form. And I have an outfit planned for this shirt, so that's why I got it. But it just has some buttons here. And I got that shirt to go with the outfit that I got from Urban Outfitters. So from Urban, I got this like corduroy looking bucket hat. It's just black and I think it looks really cute. And it fits really nice on. So I've been wanting like a bucket hat, but that didn't look like too bucket hatty, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna wear that hat with the top from Brandy with these jeans. These jeans are so cute. They have like such cute stitching on them. They're black and they're like boyfriend fitting and they cinch in at the waist. So that's really good. And I've never owned a pair of jeans from Urban and I've been missing out because these are literally so flattering and comfortable. So that fit's gonna be really cute. Stay tuned, it's gonna be on my Instagram when I wear it so you guys can see what it looks like on. Next place I went to was Cotton On and I haven't been there in so long but I've been on the hunt for really good boyfriend jeans and I found some here. This is what they look like. These are like mom jeans and they're just like a medium wash more like a light wash like a light medium and then they have like a rip in the knee i've been wanting boyfriend jeans for a while now so i'm happy that i found some that fit really well and then also from cotton on i got this like beige tan colored beret it was on sale for literally two dollars so i had to pick it up next i went to guess and i got a beret as well this one is black and furry and I'm obsessed with the fit of this and I love Guess. So I had to pick this up when I saw it. So next place I went to was Victoria's Secret. I know this is like a little personal but I want to tell you girls that Victoria's Secret has their spooky underwear out and they're only $4. At least they were when I bought them. <laughs> Victoria's Secret in Santa Monica they didn't have these but the one in Glendale did so I had to pick them up I've been wanting them so I got two of their Halloween t-shirts the first one I got is this orange long sleeve I love how vibrant it is and it says bad witch I think it's so funny and it's really cute and these are so comfy so I can wear these as pajamas but I can also wear them out because they're cute enough and then the other t-shirt I got was this one and it says you go ghoul but on the front it's just like a basic black tee but it has the vampire mouth again you guys know I love vampire diaries so this is like very up my alley right now and the last place I went to was Zara and that's where I got the most stuff so that's why I saved it for last this is where I got some of my favorite things so I got this top it's like this black top with tiny straps and on the straps it has bows this is so my style can you guys see how cute this is I'm so excited to wear this and I also picked up some things the day before that would look really good with this top so stay tuned I'll show you guys that in a second and then the other thing I got from Zara was this sweater and I've been wanting a sweater like this it's so comfy so it's cream 
and it's almost knit but there's also like furry like pieces on it and i got it in a size extra large because you guys know i love wearing sweaters as dresses so i wanted to get this in the largest size because you guys know i'm pretty tall so i have to get an extra large in order for it to be like long enough to wear as a dress the first thing i got were these gold hoop earrings with a little pearl at the end these were only 19 dollars, so i really wanted some like really nice pearl statement earrings besides the pearl hoops that I always wear. And I got this belt. It is black velvet. And then the part that's actually the belt, the buckle, <laughs> is bedazzled. And I think this would look so cute with like the bedazzled barrettes I was wearing earlier in this vlog. Then I got this bow headband. It is a black velvet bow. And I think this is so Blair Waldorf. And I'm obsessed with her, obviously. So I think this is so cute. This will look so adorable with that black bow shirt. And then I also got this black bow hair clip. I've been wanting a bow like this that I can wear my hair in a ponytail with. So I wanted this and I saw this and I was like, this is literally the bow I've been looking for. So I picked this up. Next thing I got was a bag and I'm obsessed with this. So it looks like this. It has cowrie shells here and like the same gold lining as like the strap there's tassels on it and it's a decent sized bag and the length is pretty short so it will be like a shoulder bag almost and i thought this was just so different i don't have any bags like this so i definitely wanted to pick this up because i thought this would go with a lot of my outfits that i have planned and last but not least for this haul is my favorite thing that i got so i got these black bow kitten heels as you can see the heel is really small so they're going to be comfortable to walk in and they have a strap that wraps around your ankle and then they have little bows on the front they are just so darling and stunning as you can see i was on a little bit of a bow kick but i got everything and i can make so many outfits and they're such versatile pieces that i can style them in many different ways so yeah that's everything i got this weekend i have tons of stuff coming from fashion nova i already told you guys earlier in this vlog so i'll do like a fall try on haul so you guys can get some fall outfit inspo but yeah, I'm just going to go do some homework with Gianni now and spend time with him because it's his first day here. I'm just going to end this vlog here. Sorry if it was a little bit shorter, but I hope the makeup tutorial plus the haul made it kind of long. But I'll do one of my normal vlogs soon. I have a really funny vlog that I'm filming on Thursday. I'm very scared for it. That's a hint, but you guys will see that video soon. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment down below any video ideas that you want to see from me. As you guys know, I reply to comments and I love chatting with you guys on my new video yeah go comment after you're done watching this and i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in my next video